this is Dan Track Radio and I'm joined by J11. Hey, so how was it for you starting up in the creative industry? It was tough, like, first of all, when I was in sixth form, like, not many people, like, were rocking with me, like, mm. like, I felt like I was the only one pushing myself. Yeah. Like, it was bare fake, like, I feel people only, they only want to rock with you when you're, like, doing something, but when you're mm. starting out, people don't want to show love because they're love. scared of, like, putting energy into something that might not Work out. turn out, yeah. It's bare fake, like, I remember one in sixth form, um, when I had my pop-up store, like, a bunch of girls, yeah, they were making fun of me on Twitter, like, in my class. Wow. So they're like, oh, this guy, he has a dead brand. But it's funny, because that same week, um, had my pop-up store in it, mm. um, with Ryan Hawaii, mm. Skepta came through, people from Chase and Stairs came through. It was mad, didn't it? Like, mm. what, it was a room where the capacity was, like, what, 30, 50 people? But I had like 350 kids there. Wow. And I sold out as well. Ryan sold out as well. And the funny thing is, yeah, the pop up store was on a Saturday. The following Monday, I went to school out like, with what? Three bags cash? Wow. Just stunting, like. Yeah. To let them know, but like, it's hard starting out. Like, that's the hardest stage, like, finding yourself. Once you find yourself, everything, anything is possible. So it. In that same breath, if, if it's so hard, like in terms of people like backing you, etc., is it hard mm. to kind of, you, you made a tweet one time in terms of, um, I forgot how it was exactly worded, but it's basically people kind of career hopping, like in terms mm. of like social so climbers. The, the social climbers. I don't so mess with easy. social climbers. I see all you opportunists. Okay. Um, there's bare, like people just like, people from your past will start trying to holler you again, like, oh, what's good? Mm. But they weren't around during the struggle, like, if you see someone grinding, if you see someone struggling or like chasing their dreams, you should help them. It's not only when they're starting to like realise that their dreams can come true, that it should be like jumping on the thing. That's mm. all fake. Like we see the fakery in it. Mm. So is this does this ring true within the actual industry itself? Yeah, like the industry is so fake, like I feel like a year ago I used to be like a proper hipster, like you'd see me at all the fashion events. Mm -hmm. But then I clocked like it's all a game. Then I just had to remove myself from that whole vibe and go back to the real energies. Then once I got back to the real energies, I'm here. I feel like I'm back better than ever. Like mm. people, like I had a conversation with one of my boys Eastwood the other day. He was telling me that I fell off. Like mm. he was saying, "Oh, you didn't do this. You didn't release that." Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's necessary to take a break from the scene. Sometimes you have to analyze the scene. Like you see how Twenty One Savage said what. I sit back and read like Cat in the Hat. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's what I'm on. Like mm. I analyze stuff before I go into it, innit? Yeah. But yeah. It seems fake, man. Mm. I'm just on my own thing. You only you're only gonna see me with my gang. Like 2017, I'm moving so different. Like nobody's mm. ready for the energy I'm putting out. Mm. It's gonna be a mad thing. So basically, just nothing but positive vibes. Yeah, around. words and only gang. Like I'm not trying to. I don't want no new friends. Mm. Like I've got my winning circle around me. Mm. I don't want. I don't want to meet no new people that are going to mess up the vision or slow me down. Like, no drugs, no alcohol, like, mm. some serious thing. So what is the vision? The vision is just, um, whoa, that's a mad thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the vision is basically... I hear you that, that's a rave. Yeah, 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 word. Um, it's just putting on demand them. Like, that's all I really care about at mm. the end of the day. I want to empower all my guys. I want us all to take like private jets together and stuff like that's the vision like that's what i'm on Beautiful, i'm not man. trying to be in the ends like if you deep it yeah what man's only got 50 60 years left to live mm. like it's, it's messed up when you, you have more about, you huh? have more amen <laughs> but like real real life though like what the average human what i'm 20 years old now probably have like 50 60 years to live i only have 50 60 years to add my perspective onto this earth mm. then i die I'm really trying to do something that will make my la my name last forever. Like mm. I'm not on what all these other kids are on. Like I'm really trying to do this thing and push, push like through that door, innit? Mm. You're trying to build your legacy. Yeah, word. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Well, I can I can say for a fact that's what you're doing. Your your Thank brand, you. even um down to at my workplace, people will know that I work at Radio One One Extra, and my boss Joe Harland, if he's listening. Just came up to me. Like, I saw a picture of you, Shaq. Um, he was wearing right. this hat called Nothing. Um, I really want one of those. Right. Like, like he's not a person that will, your your audience at all. But there right. are normal like 
people outside of the target audience that love the brand right. in general and what it stands for. Because when I explained it to him, he was like, that's actually deep, man. Mm-hmm. Like, it's deep. But um, right. just in general, like, you're doing very well. I, I also, you. kind of want to bring up the fact that um, I see you doing rap shows. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jay. Yo, I'm going to come clean. Hey. I'm not even a rapper like that. I know you say, shout, you say. Shout out to my boy, um, um, Ray, New Old Ray. No politics mob. Basically, how that came about, my boy, I used to go to Essex Uni, yeah, yeah. but I don't anymore, it's a long story. But my boy, he has a studio, he had a studio in Essex, so what? One day all the man him in the studio, my boy Mason was like, yo, jump on this track. Just mm. dropped a quick 16. But it's weird, like, the one song I have out, like, it's got like, Hello plays on SoundCloud. Mm. Like, people are trying to book me to do shows and stuff. It's actually, a, it's a it's, good track. <laughs> it's a solid yeah. track. More but, music? What are you telling me? More music? Low key. What? Low key. Exclusive I might. for Damn yeah. Track Radio, yeah? Therefore. Yeah? I'm trying to do that, you know. Okay. I was supposed to bring the mandem here today, but they're just on anything. Like. Yeah. But yeah, therefore, more music. Maybe. Most likely. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to do everything. Like, mm. I don't want people to think I'm trying to be a rapper because that's not. No, what you're trying yeah. to, that's not what you're trying to do. But it's just for fun. Like, I feel like I can do anything and mm. I'm alive, so why wouldn't I try and do more than one thing? Like, mm. That's the mentality you should have. Right? Right. That's definitely the mentality you should have. People think they can only do one thing, but you're a human. You're supposed to do, you're supposed to like do as many things as you can mm. before you die, innit? Mm. Well, Jay, it's been a pleasure having you down on the radio station. Thank man. you for having me. What are your social medias for people to follow you up? Um... Twitter is ApexJ, Instagram, J11, that's E-L-E-V-E-N, then Snapchat, J-A-I dot E-L-V-E-N. <laughs>